Okay, so on number six, we're adding a new method using the scratch method. So this is gonna be a little weird for you. Let me show you. So, so uh, let me begin by saying, all right, you already know how to add quite well. Let me add these numbers over here on the side the normal way. Just six, eight, three, one. I'm just gonna grab all these same numbers. Six, eight, three, one, five, six, five, six, two, five, two, two, five, two. Okay, now you can use calculators on the test. Don't worry, calculators are fine for everything. There's no, I'm not wanting you to do a bunch of numbers in your head. But um, you will teach kids to add numbers in their head, at least for a little while until they get a little older and use a calculator. And so how, how do we teach kids to add up a, a long string of numbers? Well, the normal, I'm going to put over here the normal method. The normal method is we just add them all up and keep the running total in our head. Let me write down what's in our head as we go. Wouldn't we go, okay, six and eight makes 14 so far, right? Six and eight makes 14. And then three makes 17. This would all be in our head, right? And then one more, 18. And then five more, do you know that one? Three. three. And then six more, 29. Two more, 31. Five more, 36. And two more, 38. And that's the answer, huh? And, and you could probably do that all in your head, but that's, that's kind of a lot. Remember, all these are in the head. That, that's, that's pretty high, especially for somebody younger, to keep all that in their head and not mess up, right? But that is the normal method. In fact, and you know what we call, we have a fancy word for that. It's called an algorithm. It, that's a good word to know. They'll use that in the uh, curriculum. That means that's just a method. That's just a fancy word for a method. An algorithm is just the steps that we use to do something. So there's the normal method or the normal algorithm for adding up a whole bunch of numbers. We just pretty much do it in our head, don't we? Now, I want to show you another way called the scratch method. Now, why? before we do it, let me tell you why I'm showing you another way. I'm showing you another way, not because it's you should teach kids this other way. You should not. You, you should teach them the normal method. The, the, new, the method I'm gonna show you right here, the scratch method, is actually a little bit easier, but nobody else is doing it, and it's not a big, it's not a lot easier, it's not a big deal. So, of course, you're not going to use this new method. Well, then why am I showing you this new method? I want to give you perspective. I want to, again, I'm trying to make you a master of what you're going to become a teacher of. And a lot of what you do to become a master is you study other things, right? Like, so we became, you guys became masters of the base 10 place value system by studying other place value systems, other bases. And, you, and then you understand now more deeply what it means that we're a base 10 place value system. Same way, I want you to understand more deeply what we do when we add our method by saying, look, there's other methods. There's other ways. Ours is just one way. So you'll understand our way more deeply and be a master of adding with a deep, wide perspective. Okay, so, what's, so that's what we're, why we're learning it. It's not something you should teach kids. So how do you do it? What's this other way? And I'm going to show you a third way after this one. Scratch, it's called the scratch method. This is question six here. So what do we mean the scratch? What do you do? Here's, here's the scratch method. Whenever we total 10 or more scratch, and the scratch is like a mark, scratch and write the part left over above 10. Then keep going. With just 
the remainder part. Okay, what am I talking about? Well, here we go. So six and eight, that makes 14, just like we put over there, right? 14, six and eight is 14. What am I gonna do? Whenever you hit 10 or more, scratch. So I'm gonna put a scratch and I'm gonna put four, right? Write the part left over above 10. So that scratch four is kind of like a 14. The scratch is like the, like the one. Is that making sense so far? The scratch four is like 14. Now, why, why do we do that? Well, because that way we can just go back to the four now. We don't, we don't have to keep the whole 14 in our head. The scratch will remember the one for us. And we can forget about that and just go back now with the four. Four and three, right? You just then keep going with just the remainder part, right? So just go on now with the four. Forget about the 14. The scratch has got your one for you. Just go on with the four. Four and three makes seven. Keep going. And one makes eight. I'll write it over here, right? Seven, we're at eight. Keep going. Remember, you keep going until you hit 10 or more. And five more, eight and five makes 13, right? 13, time to scratch, scratch three. There's my 13. So again, the scratch is like a one. Scratch three, there's my 13. Scratch three. And then we keep going. Now, now you just use the three. Forget about the, the one. Forget about the whole 13. Just use the three. Just the remainder part. Right? Makes it easier. You don't have to keep such a large number in your head. Just go on with the three. Three and six makes nine. Don't need to scratch yet. Haven't hit 10 or more. And two makes 11. Time to scratch. One, one. There's my 11, right? Again, the scratch is the one. One, one, 11, scratch one. There's my 11. Now we can just forget about the other one and just use the remaining one. So it's easier. I don't have to keep a whole 11 in my head. Anytime I go over 10, I just, I bring it back down. It's kind of nice. One and five makes six. Keep going. And two makes eight. We're done there. I never hit 10 again. So what's my answer? It's the eight, you bring the eight over here. Eight, that's your ones place. You can see this okay. That's your ones place. Now what's gonna go in the um, tens place? Can you tell? Scratch, scratch, scratch. Remember the scratches are remembering the ones for us. So what do I have? Scratch, scratch, scratch. 38, which is the same answer I got using the normal method. So, so both methods are, are right. They both get you to the right answer. But with the normal method, look at, you had to keep all these in your head. It's a lot of numbers. Whereas with the scratch method, you just keep these low numbers in your head every time, don't you? And so there we go. There's a second way to add. I just want to make you aware that there are other ways to add. Our method, the normal method, is just one way.